Hi, I'm Melvin. And did you know that some people think the Bible is boring? What? Tell me if this sounds boring to you. This great, big, amazing God created our whole universe out of nothing. He made a big, beautiful planet named Earth and filled it with plants and rivers and beaches and birds and fish. Then he made the first two people, Adam and Eve, to explore the Earth and hang out with God. And God gave them just one rule to follow. But Adam and Eve broke God's rule. They didn't follow God's one direction. And because of that, they brought a curse on the Earth. They broke the Earth. And that's when all the bad things started. Sickness, and death, and meanness, and hurt, and hunger, and sadness, and killing. So far, that is not exactly boring. It is sad, and it's about to get worse. The Bible says that when people break God's rules, it also breaks their friendship with God. Not following God's directions means we can't follow God or know Him at all. Let me summarize so far. God made a beautiful earth and we messed everything up. Wrecked our friendship with Him. Broke the earth. But God made a plan to fix everything. God came to earth as a man named Jesus and lived a perfect life and died on a cross and then came back to life. Wait, how does that fix things? Well, when he died on the cross, Jesus got in trouble for the rules we broke and the directions we didn't follow. He got in trouble instead of us. So when we trust in Jesus, those rules we broke, they're totally forgiven and forgotten. And our broken friendship with God, it's fixed like nothing ever happened. Isn't that exciting? We get to live knowing God again. We can talk to Him in prayer, and we can hear from Him in the Bible. And when bad things happen to us, at least we go through them knowing God is on our side, and He'll be with us all the way through whatever it is. Even if we die, we know we're going to heaven to live with God forever. And one day, God's going to fix our earth. He's going to get rid of all the sickness and death and meanness and hurt and hunger and sadness and killing. He's going to bring us with him to live on a brand new, beautiful earth forever and ever. We're going to get to explore the new earth and outer space and discover wonderful surprises in the universe and wonderful truths about God. And we'll never get tired or sick or sad or bored. That's what the Bible's all about. Is that boring? Nope. Nuh-uh. Negative. And if you'd like to learn how to read the Bible and really understand it for yourself and not get bored, then join my cousin, Bob the Dragon, in Spiance Mission Number One. You're gonna love it, or my name's not Melvin Herbert Henry Harry Hamilton Harvey Harrison the Fourth.